Today we're doing a ballet booty and leg workout at the bar. This is my booty kicker bar. There's a link in the description if you'd like to get one for yourself at a discount and it comes with a free bender ball. But you can also use a chair or a counter. We're gonna lightly press onto the bar. Weight is in our standing leg, which is our right heel. We're going to pull in our core nice and tight, pull the shoulders away from your ears and we're gonna lift and lower that back leg. Lengthen the leg. Feel the catch in your glute. Four more. Now we're gonna go from full range to half range. So now I want you to take it all the way to the top and drop it down halfway, then lift it back up. Up, halfway down. Excellent, four more. Now after this last one, I want you to lift it up, hold it at the top and drop it diagonally across your body. Bring it back up behind you. So we're crossing your midline, hovering it down right above the ground, bending that standing knee to help you get a little bit closer to the ground. We're slightly pressing into the bar. Remember to pull the shoulders away from the ears and think about lengthening that leg. How far can you reach it back behind you as you lift it up? Your outside standing glute should be on fire. Woo, all right. Open that knee out to the side in back attitude. We're gonna lower it down and then lift it up. So it's hovering right above the ground as you lower and then lift. Now we're getting some of those little tiny muscles all around the outside edges of your glute. Now hold it at the top, we're gonna pulse it, inch up and down. Now combo, lower, and lift, lengthen the leg back to attitude. Lengthen and attitude. Lower, lift, lengthen. Looking great. All right, we have four more. Lift it up. Three, two, and one final, make it count, and lower it down. All right, go ahead and shake it out. We're gonna take that standing leg across the opposite knee for our figure four stretch. Sit it back, pressing the knee down, the hips are back. Go ahead and feel that stretch in that glute. Good stuff, shake it out again. All right, so now we're actually going to switch. We're gonna have the weight on our left foot and be lifting and lowering our right leg. So I have flipped my bar around to the other side. Go ahead and put your weight into the left foot and get ready to lift and lower. Again, pulling in the core, shoulders away from the ears. Full range, lift and lower. Hips facing forward. Lift till you feel the catch in your glute. Lengthening the leg for four, three, two. Now get ready for our half range. We're gonna take it all the way to the top and drop it down halfway. Lift it up, hover it down. Four more. Last two. Good, now lift it up to the top and we're gonna take it across that diagonal tap. Lower and lift. Try to hover right above the ground adds a little bit more intensity. Another eight, here we go. Notice I'm bending that standing leg to help me get that toe a little closer to the ground. Four more. Last two. Now we're gonna open that knee up, ready for back attitude, open it out, hips open, lower it and lift. Again, still hovering as we bring it down and lift it up. Toe right above the ground for four, three, and two. Now get ready to pulse. We're gonna take it up to the top. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last pulse. All right, now combo, lower and lift. Extend it out, pull it in. Good. Remember to breathe. Four more. Reach it out. Three. Last two. Lengthen it out, bring it in, lower it down. Oh my goodness. 
major burn, major great glute work. Oh, a little tiny person just ran across the screen. That was my daughter. All right, go ahead and take that standing leg across the knee, figure four stretch, press the hips back, open it wide, work out those sore glutes, stretch it out, breathe in overhead. Thank you so much for joining me today. You did a great job and hopefully your glutes are thanking you for it. So now I'm gonna show you how to fold up your bar. You go ahead and unwrap these little Velcro pieces on each side. It's very easy to do, that's why I want to show you. Then there's these metal bars that are um, like little kickstands on each side. So you just pull them out of their holes, lower them down. Once they're out, you'll lower the main bar down. And then you take those Velcro pieces from the beginning and just wrap it around to hold the two separate bars in place. And then you'll see here in a minute, I'm going to just be able to easily lift it up. It's a very lightweight bar and there are little wheels on the front. So you can roll it or you can choose to lift it. So here we go. Now that we're all done, we can store it away. And remember, if you wanna get your own, the link is below. You'll get a discount and a free ball. Thanks guys.